Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm doing like a um, mic setup video thing. I'm not gonna like show you how to set up and get the drivers in the, on the um, audio interface, but I'm gonna show you how to do. Oh my gosh, this I can hear my mic through my headphones. Um, I'm gonna show you how to like the, do the settings or what settings you should do for the best um, audio sound, at least for my voice. And I have a pretty average sounding voice, at least for a teenager, I think. And, um, yeah, so hopefully it's good or whatever. But this is my audio interface. Let me film it. And, um, yeah, it's like a $50 audio interface. I got it, like, two years ago or something. And, I mean, it sounds pretty good. It's just a... Behringer Euphoria UMC 22. It's got uh, one XLR input and a quarter inch input. And I mean, it works. Works pretty good. And uh, so let me show you what I have my mic settings at. I'm going to turn this off, but I'll turn it back on when I do the audio thing. So this is going to be like a fairly uncut video. So it's just me showing you what you should do if you want if you want to like get the best sound out of your mic so first thing is um you should go to open sound settings sound control panel and uh just have your uh just up to your configuration or whatever this is just mine since i use this thing for everything um my levels are at 100% because then it goes down and it gets like, you know, uh, 100% on the levels. And then you, mine's at 44.100, but I would say 48,000. It's at 44,000 for me. I don't even think there's any difference. It doesn't even, it literally doesn't even matter um, for the most part, unless you're doing like recordings, like actual like high production recordings. But then you wouldn't have a Behringer, but just on something else. Um, my properties I have that as that and then uh, if you're recording you have it as 320 kilobits a second for YouTube videos anything over 320 doesn't matter I have a compressor it sounds different without a compressor mostly because the compressor has gain but also the compressor keeps the sounds like compressed into one sound so like if I and then if I if I talk really loud it uh, the the limiter comes in and then so like let me see if I can do an example of the limiter so like yeah it limits it a little bit and it makes it where it doesn't blow your ears up and then the best part of the whole thing is the VST2 plug-in Marvel GEQ so let me turn it off so this is how it sounds without the Marvel GEQ plug-in I can't hear it I need to turn it on so I can hear it but um, I mean it sounds fine I'm not really gonna be able to complain about the audio quality from this because this is an AT2020 I have that in the title, so I didn't really think I had to explain that. But um, also, my gain on the Behringer audio interface is at just middle way, just halfway. So let me turn this back on. And this is how it sounds with this on. What I have is just the bass boost a little bit. And I don't like boosting the treble because it kind of brings in too much of the, like, you know, nasty high sounds like this. And then, like, it's, uh, that was a test of, uh, whatever, I don't know. But it brings in too much of the higher pitch sounds and kind of aggravating to my ears, at least. You might like the sound, I don't know, but I like um, bringing this down because then you have, like, sibilance issues, you know. And then, like, this, you still kind of have sibilance issues. And then just this one that I have 
doesn't really have those kind of issues and it's just easier on the ears because it's got some more bass so the the sound in general is just a little more rounded off and sounds just nice and comfortable to your ears and then um, this is just the recommended position for the mic that I would say you should do just like have it about what four inches away from your face because um, like my keyboard you can hear my keyboard and uh, let me turn on this um, noise suppression and the reason why I don't use this even though it sounds really good like as you can tell it completely takes away the noise can't hear anything but um, I scream a lot so like ah! yeah yeah it I mean I guess it's a good thing that it does take out of my screams or whatever but it distorts your audio if you make anything that doesn't sound like a voice which is good for voiceovers and whatever but if you're like goofy and talking to other people then it uh take out your screams and high-pitched noises that you make sadly and then you can have it like out of frame so this is just like barely out of frame right there and um yeah i mean you can do that kind of still hear my computer but if you do like some kind of power move or something you can do that and then turn the audio up on your audio interface it sounds a lot it sounds a lot more delicate but it actually doesn't sound bad now that I hear it I haven't actually done this before it's actually kind of cool like you can just do this for like a voiceover thing but I wouldn't say that it's like perfect like you could have the max potential but it certainly is a lot of gain but then if you take the noise suppressor off and then you stick it over here turn that gain all the way up or not all the way up that's just three quarters of the way up you can hear my computer my computer is kind of loud though so but here is the audio all the way up it gets pretty loud like feedback and it's like 18 inches away from me and then if I turn the noise suppression on, it has a weird echoey, grainy effect. And it just sounds weird. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but it's like, you know. So my favorite mic position is four inches away from your face. Um, and then just medium gain. Oops, I wasn't showing the screen, but you saw what you could tell what I was doing. I was just doing the noise suppression. It's just the RNN noise, the whatever that is, and then you got the nasty noise suppression. I hate this so much. PewDiePie used to use this. Thank goodness it was used to, and it's terrible. But it's because he has like a loud computer or something. I don't know. I would much rather hear his computer than literally squished up things like this it sounds terrible but yeah if you use a noise suppressor and you have a nvidia graphics card i would say use this because it sounds so much better but i just don't even use noise suppression because usually my thing that i'm having on the computer is louder than the background noise and you can't even hear it in the first place and that's what everyone does they just have a little bit of background noise and you just can't hear it in the first place because you got something else playing over it but yeah i think that's about that's good enough for a uh mic showing you what to do for the mic video it's just um yeah pop filter um recommend one of these things these are amazing had it for like four years and uh at 2020 Behringer UMC 2022 or 22 and it sounds just as good as any other audio setup for YouTube I don't think you 
notice a difference. General audience wouldn't notice a difference. And I only have a thousand subscribers. This is overkill for what I do, but since I have it, because this is actually my dad's, he's a musician and he bought it and he lets me borrow it. So I'm like, why not use it? Um, so yeah, I hope you y'all enjoyed this video. Um, Hopefully, this was useful. It's kind of long as 10 minutes, but I think I got a decent amount of information across. And this should help you make your audi audio sound good. You can do this with any mic. Still say that, um, depending on e exactly how your mic is, but most of the time, if it's a XLR mic, it pretty much, it'll basically sound the same. So you can use, still use the same VST plugin. Let me do this. It still basically sound the same and be like this, so it will be fine with whatever you put into your computer or whatever. And um, yeah, tell me what other kind of uh, videos you want me to make. Like, you can request what kind of um, tutorial video you want me to make. Like recording settings, how to do something in OBS, um, audio stuff. I need to do a uh, audio thing for this recorder that I have. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. Um, yeah, I have not made a video, a like, tutorial video in probably over a year, so I didn't know what I was talking about most of the time. I mean, I knew what I was doing in OBS, but I just didn't know what I was doing. Oh my gosh, the delay. I am surprised. I am not stuttering. Okay, well, I will see you in the next video. Bye.